deadly anomalies, dangerous mutants, anarchists, and bandits. This is what we face, so join me on my journey to find the blue sphere and I will show you what it takes to survive. I'll leave this in for people who haven't actually played the game before. It's a pretty cool intro. The emission will be starting soon. We need to get out of here quick if we want to survive. Fortunately, I have an escape plan. But you have to grab the artifact. Otherwise, it will be a waste of time. You're not much good to us when injured. Can you see a first aid kit anywhere? If so, use it. Oh. Don't let the visuals fool you. This is not a kid's right. game. Back to walk. Check if there's anyone on the roof. Enemy. I really love the animations, they're so clean. The game is very well made. Go to the sarcophagus roof, under the pipe. Our helicopter will land there. If you're stuck in a hole somewhere, use your NVG. Enemy! Yeah, for assault rifles. As you can see, there's clown. So, you need to compensate by pulling down with your mouse. Just be careful not to pick up too much because there are some things that you cannot drop and then you'll make yourself too heavy. game is quite in-depth, it has weapon modding and everything.
artifacts. They're really well modeled. Like this one has eyes. So cool. Bit of armor. I should grab that. Unfortunately. Where have you got to? Move it. You can't keep anything from here. From the intro. The game has plenty of PvE content if you're not into PvP. And tons of PvE PvP content if you're into PvP. Время шло, постепенно все белые пятна были изучены. Казалось, что на планете не осталось земель, неизведанных человеком. Но вместо белых пятен появилось одно черное пятно. Таинственное, дикое, не поддающееся объяснению ученых – зона. Изначально зоной называли периметр, радиус которого составлял 30 километров вокруг Чернобыльской АЭС. Именно эту территорию задел так называемый «первый выброс» – Огромный всплеск неизвестной энергии, который изменил саму реальность. Первыми людьми, ступившими на землю зоны, стали отнюдь не ученые или военные. Первыми были обычные бродяги, искатели приключений. Они с уважением относились к зоне, не используя в ней оружие и аккуратно исследуя каждый ее закуток. Когда первопроходцы вернулись, они принесли с собой первые артефакты. Это аномальные образования со сверхъестественными свойствами. При помощи артефактов можно было лечить любые болезни, создавать мощнейшие источники энергии и нарушать физические законы. После этого интерес к зоне невероятно возрос. В нее хлынули люди всех сортов и моральных качеств. Одни именовали себя сталкерами, пытались жить по заветам первопроходцев. Другие назвались бандитами и восприняли зону как место вседозволенности. За артефакты разгорелась настоящая война. Это стало причиной того, что зона изменилась навсегда. Именно тогда там появились аномалии интанты. И именно тогда зона начала давать людям отпор. Со временем мутанты и аномалии становились опаснее. Свойства артефактов начали слабеть, конкуренции стало больше, и поток людей пытающихся прорваться сквозь охранные периметры в зону, ослаб. Однако совсем недавно 
случайным людям, не имеющим отношения к зоне, начал сниться один сон. Во сне менялись некоторые обстоятельства, но неизменным оставался большой яркий голубой шар, который видел каждый из них. После этого сна все люди, которым он снился, устремились в зону. Это явление получило название «Зов», а всех, кто следует этому зову, прозвали «блаженными». Okay, we've got our different factions. We can join bandits, who then have uh, further factions they can join. Mercenaries and Covenant. The Stalkers can join Frontier and Rise. Uh, if you play the Stalker game, uh, Frontier is based on duty and Rise is based on freedom. So we're going to pick the Stalkers. Okay, this game, all the voice lines are in Russian and uh, sometimes they talk. So I'll let you guys read the text and I, and I won't say anything unless the, the character does not speak. And then I'll read the text out for you. О, проснулись, улыбнулись. Ну что, очнулся? Чего глазами хлопаешь? Помнишь что-нибудь? Или ты у меня... Ну еще бы. Ваша лодочка угодила в какую-то подводную аномалию. Мы тебя еле живым вытащили. На болотах мы. Это юг зоны. Тут у нас база сталкерская. Считай, это место... Сны говоришь? Что у тебя там за сны? Ясно. Ты у нас... <свы> Не мне, дружище, тебе все это объяснять. Тебе шаман нужен. Он местное светило. Лучше всех понимает, что не так с сбл... Не так быстро, дружище. Тебя местные выходили, но... С... Да нет, я-то тут, считай, просто мимо... Хорошо, вот погляди. Первое, что... Думаю, ты подустал от постельного режима и хочешь немного развить... Правда, неподалеку от входа в эту землянку ты наверняка наткнешься на аномалии. Ну, какая же зо... И еще кое-что. Ты лучше направо-налево не говори, что ты блаженный. Народ бывает всякий. Говорят, тут у нас уже люди лихие есть, которые блаженных за угрозу держат. Если они... Ой, я не сказал, что ли? Липа. Зови меня Липа, дружище. И если что... Right, and we are in the game. There's another player. If you hold the tab key, it brings up this wheel. We can do basic interactions. Okay, let's see what do we have. Okay, we got some med kits. We have some bandages, and we have some food. Uh, food is important. It gives buffs, as you can see. There's a stamina regeneration. So let's go ahead and we'll use that. How long is this for? 19 minutes. Okay, wait, let's just do this. Open P, go to your task tab, dugout stash. Okay, that's how you look at your, at your guards. You can turn them on and off with this little button here and you can make it show in the world or not. There's a map, it's quite big. Uh, what I did was I put a marker on, on the base so it makes it easier to find your way back and you just double click to create a marker. This is this is just the the south part of the zone. It, it, it gets way more, way more. And then this is only, as I said, this entire area is just the south. There's still a, a whole another area in the north. All right, Lyndon wants us to go and do a mission. Okay, let's just check again. If you press K, you can open your journal. Okay, we're doing a mission called Dugout Stash, and we're going to find the stash. But let's go. We'll continue. I just want to do this. I've added that to an item wheel. Now how you do that is you simply put your cursor over it and you press a number and then it adds it to the item wheel. So that if we get bitten and we start bleeding, I can just simply Use that quick, but you hold the C key to open this, and then you just 
mouse over it to use. There is a, a, a quick quick use key. It is the C key. You just tap it and, and it will use uh, the med kits on the bottom right. But you don't want to use a whole med kit for a bleed. If you're not familiar with Stalker or this game, uh, anomalies are dangerous. They will kill you if you walk into them. So you gotta avoid them. And here we find an electrical anomaly. These are one of the few anomalies you can disable with a bolt. At it's only temporary, you can disable it for like two seconds and then you gotta run through, otherwise it'll come back and kill you. So here we go. Just like that. Here we find this dash, just has a ring in it. As Lyndon just said. После выброса в зоне всегда появляются новые артефакты. Осмотрись-ка по сторонам. А вот тебе фортануло. As Lyndon said, that was an eruption. Normally they last a lot longer than that. Um, and if you're outside when they happen, you die. You do, you do have time to reach safety, so it's not usually a problem. Okay, there's an artifact. Artifacts spawn after a blowout or an eruption, whatever they want to call it. But they don't spawn immediately. I don't think you can just rush out after, after an eruption and go find artifacts. Uh, they take up to half an hour to spawn. And there's one there. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Didn't actually expect to find one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they take about up to half an hour to spawn after an eruption. Uh, the amount that spawn are determined by how many people there are in the given area. So the more people there are, the more artifacts will spawn. Artifacts, это конечно хорошо, но прежде чем мы перейдем к его изучению, я должен тебе рассказать, как тут все устроено. Давай ко мне. Yeah, let me just show you quick. Anything with a lock icon will not drop when you die. Uh, anything with this says not dropped upon death. Uh, but if you find an artifact, uh, you need to return to base. To get this not dropped upon death symbol. Uh, if you get killed before you return to base, it will drop and someone can take it. If you do die, you will lose any ammo and medicine that's not bound. Okay, we've got to go talk to Lyndon again. Nuka pahwastaisa na hotkai. Oh, kakoi krasavits. Vovsinet. На каждой крупной безопасной базе есть... В зоне молва о твоих делах разносится быстро. Если будешь помогать местным, твои опытные исследователи зоны всегда следят за своей репутацией. Ты тоже можешь узнать, что думают... Ты 
you have a reputation level uh, the higher your reputation gets the more bonuses you'll get like you'll get discounts on selling things stuff like that and you'll unlock new weapons to barter okay he wants us to go speak to the scientist which is over here Alright, then we're going to drag our artifacts over and he is going to identify the quality of them. I uh, don't actually have enough money to do that. The first one is free. Okay, he suggests we sell it, so let's go to the fence. Welcome to our shelter, I'm Kochka. Bye. Any stuff that you find on your travel sounds good. You bet, the economy is a complex thing. People like me, we support that very economy. We keep the cock spinning, you know? We make the wheels turn and all that jazz. Anyway, buddy, shall we get down to business? I actually have an artifact here. But if you want to quickly move things over, you can shift left click. And now he will offer us 1,484 rubles for it. It's actually quite easy to make money in this game. Artifacts are one of them. He wants us to head over to the weapons merchant, but I just want to go over to the scientist real quick. Yeah. We're going to research this one. How does it look? Okay, common artifacts, um, they have a quality that can go up to 100%. The higher the quality, the higher the benefits. Now, when you actually get a backpack, you'll be able to stick the artifact in your backpack slot and then you will get these bonuses uh, we have a increased vitality reduced bleeding unfortunately it gives us radiation as well but because it's it's lower than 0.5 uh, it will not affect it so for now we're just gonna chuck that in our storage and we'll head on over to the weapons guy his name is Petra hi who are you a customer uh, maybe it depends on what your services you offer. Call me Petro or Pachuca. The service I offer is the most popular one there is the assault guns. You know about pieces then? That's useful. Fire. Pieces are for puzzles. These are firearms. Guns. G-U-N-S. Deadly weapons. Uh, blabbering now. You buying anything or what? I am, but don't worry. By the by, Lyndon mentioned that you owe him. If you give me a little something, we can count it towards the dead. And he gives us a weapon. Now this is the barter tree. All the first items you will be able to purchase with rubles. Uh, beyond that, you will require barter items to trade. We have guns. All different kinds of cool guns. Got backpacks. We have mods for our weapons. So on. We also have the yeah, armor and suits and stuff I showed you. Continue. Get your gun fixed at the mechanic. This here is the mechanic. Hey, his name is Flint. You see a large middle-aged man. His face looks calm and relaxed. Higher. You feeling better, bro? Come here, harsh anomaly you got yourself into. I'm Flint. If your gear needs fixing, come and see me. I'm a pro. Cool, I'll keep it in mind. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I know my way around the tools. A bandit mechanic doesn't even come close. I heard he once fixed the newbie's gun so that the barrel exploded and the poor bastard's hands when he fired the first shot. Great, so I can always get repairs with a guarantee here. Is that right? Well, you could say that. If you sense that your gear needs repair, come see me. Why not? What's that ring you've got there? The ring I find in the diagonal far from the base. 
What really? No way. I was wondering where it had gone to. It must have been one of those newbies I passed through recently. Kept hanging around here asking about repairs. But it was just curious. Then I realized my ring was gone. Let me guess now you expect me to hand the ring over just like that. Not just like that. I'm not a to total blockhead. <laughs> blockhead, that's funny. <laughs> uh, the ring is no use to you at all, but I bet you could use a flash out for your gun. Actually, I'd recommend paying attention to weapon attachments. Fully tricked out gun and the naked one have very different capabilities, and that is true. Okay, sounds like a decent deal. I'll pick the flash harder. Great, so you got something that needs fixing? Can you check my gear, please? Okay, you're just gonna drag your gun over, click repair, and then bring it back. Or you can just left click, or uh, shift left click, and shift click click to bring it back. Righty, so we're gonna open our inventory with E again. We're gonna stick that in there. Now we got a real gun. Nothing wrong with a handgun, but always nice to have some serious firepower. And that's loaded now. And let's talk to him again. All right, I've got your SMG working. Don't even think about taking a gun in that condition into the zone. One misfire and you're gonna I see. Great, now try to attach the flash out to your gun. After this, you're free to go. I'm on it. Okay, we're gonna open our inventory. You can simply drag it over. Or you can do like they say here, press the right mouse button and select modding. Then you're going to click. And you can see by the little arrow here that there's something that will fit in that slot. So we're going to do that. There's the bonuses they add. Okay, Lyndon is calling us, I think, again. Yeah, we need to go back to Lyndon. Ари. Ну, смотрю, ты тут уже почти освоился. Поздравляю. Считай, что... Расскажу еще кое-что важное. Если тебе понадобится какой-нибудь особый шмот, ты можешь обратиться к аукционисту. На болотах ты его не найдешь. Нужно топ... Кстати, если очень хочется, можешь оформить спецзаказ на товары из внешнего мира. Закинул тебе особый подгон на твой персонаж. Глянь прямо сейчас. Оно лишним не будет, уверяю тебя. И не забудь после этого забежать к атаману. Yeah, so we, we've uh, received the reward for our mission. It's a whole lot of ammo. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, some bandages, some medicine, uh, medkits, and grenades. Alrighty. And he mentioned... Uh, the auction house and he said you can only use it in roadside that's not entirely true you can actually use it here you press p and you click auction and then you can buy stuff however as there's no courier here which is where you receive your items from uh, you cannot collect anything that you buy until you go to uh, a safe zone with a courier so we'll ignore this for now okay he wants us to check our personal storage says you can use it at any base which is true and you don't actually need to go to the personal storage alrighty let's look in our personal storage you just open your inventory and click on the bottom there okay what you say training is over good luck in the zone and we've received explorer bonuses okay that is four the battle pass or season pass or however you want to call it we received a bunch of xp for it and so we are going to receive rewards it's actually quite important to keep note of this because it gives some really good stuff so let's claim them all okay we get some crates we get trade coins i'll show you how to use those later more crates uh these are premium crates credits a party coupon we get 50 percent off some tools, this is for to upgrade your gear. Another part to keep on. More crates. Right. There are certain tasks as well. Daily tasks. Uh, that will give us more season points. And will give us one of these. A task token. If you have 25, it will give you 3 crates and 4,000 season points. Which is 4 levels of the, the season. 
Okay, so we've already done one. We found our artifacts, so we'll claim that. Okay, complete any path activities. This is very easy. This is very easy. Repair armor, that's easy. Use first aid kits. This is for if you have premium, uh, you get an extra task. Uh, I recommend getting premium. It has some nice benefits. Like for one, you, you receive uh, more points. And let me just go show you here. Right, you get a certain amount of points for your reputation points, right? Um, and with, with premium, for each event you do, each mission you do, you get uh, reputation points. And with premium, uh, you get extra points. And you also get extra rewards from missions and events and stuff. So it's a good idea to have premium, in my opinion. But it, it is premium is not necessary in this game at all. It's just nice to have. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at our storage again. Alright, we want we wanna drag one of these over. We wanna keep ammo on us. We've got enough med kits for now. So this is also a nice thing. Um where shall we put that? Let's put it in one. So then when we hold her, we can select that. Now that's a, that is a bag of ammo. When you when you use it, you can uh, shift right click to use it and some ammunition will pop up. Or uh, if you're in combat, you, you shot all your ammo, then you just open that and you drag over it and it'll, ammo will pop out. Uh, it's actually useful to keep it like this because all ammo bags are bound and won't drop if you die. So if I die, I'll lose these 100 rounds of ammo and that's it. And the rest of the ammo stays there. Let's have a look at what else. We want grenades. Let's just use that and give ourselves two grenades. Okay. You can drag these over and put them in the slot. Or you can shift right click and they'll move into the slot. Or you can hold G and then mouse over them and they'll go into onto your belt. So you be used when you press G. Okay, let's open some crates. This is always fun. I, I really enjoy opening crates like treasure. Okay, white means it's a really basic item. It is a paint or a gun, as you can see by the symbol. Another basic item, trade coins. And we get a high level item, an armless dust. Not surprising at all. Okay, let's open these. Parts. These will mostly give parts and, which is really nice by the way, um, and paints and food items. Uh, you can get weapons from here, but it's very, very rare. Another basic item, parts. Food. I will not complain, food is very good. Gives really nice buffs. More basic stuff. We have a red item. Unstable anomalous battery. These will come in handy uh, later on in the game. Don't need to worry about those for now. More parts. Oh wow! This, this right here is a very rare find. Very, very rare. This is a legendary item. Well, it is part of an item. I'll show you just now. Let's finish opening the cases. Uh, just to say how rare that item is. I've opened hundreds of these crates, i never gotten one on my other characters. That's right here. Now I'll show you where you can redeem that, as it were. Come to this guy, the exchanger, and then you say barter, and then here is the gun you can get. So you click on that, and you'll drag that over there. But you need four parts, so usually you get this one and this one very easily. These two, uh, they don't drop very easily at all. 
the drop rate is very, very small. So we're going to pop this in our storage, that in our storage. This will keep on us. We'll put that away, put that away. But right, these, are, these are for upgrading your gear, so are these. This is for repairing your gear, because if you fail an upgrade, uh, your, your total durability of your item uh, goes down. It takes damage, and so you need to repair your gear to get it back up again. Yeah, we are supposed to go upstairs and speak to Adaman. Or Ataman, or I don't know how you want to pronounce it. I will call him Adaman. Attaboy, Adaman. Так, так. Ты верно нашу тупец, которого мы еле откачали. Да, я атаман. Слежу тут за порядком. Да за молокососами вроде тебя. Уже к шаману спешишь? Ты блаженный, что ли? Я против вас ничего не имею, но советую тебе держать ухо востро. Слыхал я об одних типах. Они чуть ли не на кол хотят блаженных сажать. Так что ты поаккуратнее будь. Зря мы тебя спасали, что ли? Кого попало, шаман не принимает. У нас тут швали из брода хватает. Тебе бы сначала... Есть у меня для тебя одно личное поручение. Безотлагательной важности, так сказать. Ну ладно, положим, он был нелюдим и от водки отказался. Но вдобавок... Прошлой ночью Арт убежал на болото. Опять мать... Я тебе на карте отмечу, где стоит искать. Не думаю, что они на самой красе... Okay, you need to pay attention to uh, what, what these guys are saying and pay attention to what how you reply to them because uh, it affects the how they respond to you by what you say. And you need to pay attention because if you make a mistake in a mission, that's it. The, you've, you'll screw up the mission and you won't be able to do it again. You won't be able to do it again and do it right, so you'll just have to deal with the consequences. Okay, he wants us to track down Kalgan and Art. His missing friend. A stalker standing over a bleeding body. Help me, somebody down. Check the body. Let's Wounded man, let's out of mind, let's quickly cut short, his eyes roll back. Looks like he's beyond helping, hey what happened? B takes a few deep breaths to calm himself down. I was on my way back to camp from an errand. As I was walking by the thicket, I heard a terrifying shriek. It was blood curdling. But I'm no pussy, so I ran to see if someone needs my help. What happened next? I burst out of the bushes with my grandfather's shotgun at the ready. Walked right into some creepy thing. Standing among the trees. Huge, hairy, upright on two legs. Looked like it had grabbed the dude with one hand and was eating him. While well, I took aim and blasted it with the buckshots. It let out this terrible roar. Dropped the dude and disappeared. I let the dude lost sight of Keep it, up. it in just a split second. What was the thing you saw? Can you describe it? I've never seen anything like that. I was almost like a human, too much like a human. Tall, thin, such long arms. And its face. I didn't see its face, no. Maybe the wounds will tell us what it was. Let me take a closer look at the body. Alright, here's a dude lying on the ground. Let's we'll have a look at him. Dead man's armor was shredded by enormous claws. Examine the head. See a grimace of pain and eyes roll back. Looks like the poor guy died a long, painful death. The skin on his face is pale and there's a bruise on his temple. Examine the torso. You can see deep lacerations under the torn suit on the right side. There are several bruises and swelling around the ribs. Looks like someone broke the poor guy's bones. There's a red area of skin around the neck. Strewn with small bites. Examine the hands. Several deep lacerations on the hands. Palms are scratched on a fingernail have been torn off one of the fingers. Examine the suit. Dead man's legs have suffered less than the rest of his body. Upon closer inspection, you know, you know, it's just a couple of abrasions on the knees. End the examination. Alright, and now we see our first side quest, which has uh, made itself active. Uh, and it says more dead than love. Talk with bead. Now that's the guy that just, that brought him here. This is this guy here. Okay. Stalker looks at you in a daze, waiting for the verdict. Body is covered in lacerations, abrasions, and even some small parts. I don't know what to tell you. It was probably a mutant, but and then our other option is: Are you saying that the attacker was standing on two legs? Maybe it was a human being. We shouldn't rule that out. I am gonna say the top one. Stalker shakes his head. I've never seen anything like it. Judging by the holes, it wasn't a peggy or a boar. Or a pack of mutts. Sure wasn't a rat. And if my eyes don't lie, then this guy looks strange too. You should talk to Kalina. He's a local hunter. He probably knows all the mutants. Maybe he'll know what kind of creature crushed this guy. I'll talk to him. Where did you find this poor guy? He was around here somewhere. But before you go, be sure to go shoot the shit with Kalina. He can definitely help you out with this. I'll go talk to him. 
Oh, let's go talk to Kalina. Okay. Hey, Kate, what do you want? You here to listen to stories? I'm here on business. They say there's some kind of monster in the swamps. I'm going hunting and need advice. You'd be better off pestering Kuzmich with your brain numbing questions. He's another local gamekeeper who likes to mess with the newbies. All right, I'm not going to grumble. I have way more experience than that. Blabbermouth. So if they sent you my way, it must be really serious. All right, first things first. What kind of monster was it? A guy near here found a wounded man and brought him in to the camp. Says he fought of a monster to save him. He didn't get a good look at the monster, but he heard a terrifying roar. Terrifying roar? Well, even a grunting ball can be scary to you newbies. I once planted a grenade from a grenade launcher right under the tail of a seasoned behemoth. Now that was one hell of a roar. The glass of the gas mask cracked and my companion's ears started gushing with blood. And what about our poor guy? The wounds can identify the attacker. He's minced meat. There are several deep lacerations on the chest and hands. Lacerations are left by monsters with claws. You can, could be either an ordinary piggy or a scary monster like a ghoul, even a fiend. You're lucky that we don't have creatures like that in the swamps. Were there any other injuries? He had long red marks on his neck, like some kind of burn, but with little bites. There's no way. Was the bite fresh and the wind to the torso? Holy moly. He leaned aside after thinking for a while. Hey, Kate, we're living in hard times. Judging by your description, and was more by a ghoul. Have you ever heard of those creatures? Uh, let's see our options. Let's just say I haven't heard of them, because we're near here. What kind of monster is that? Creatures look like humans, tentacles around the mouth, they have sharp claws on their hands and can cut through an exoskeleton like a tin can. They usually live in small groups, but they can also live alone. Their main feature is that they can merge with the terrain at will. A green stalker wouldn't even notice. Can you actually find them in the swamps? I've never seen one of those around here. God knows, to be honest, I haven't seen one of those creatures in the swamps for a long time, but anything can happen in the zone. We need to deal with the mutant, this mutant before it eats somebody else. If I were you, I'd take a couple of tough guys and comb the area where the poor bastard was attacked. Thanks, I think. So long. On the monster's trail, examine the scene of the incident. Uh, before we continue with this mission, we are going to continue with our main quest. So we're going to go to our journal and complete an old friend. Track down Colgan and Art. So we'll make that active. It's right there. Alright. You might remember this is the place we were earlier where we found the artifact. But we're going through this door this time. Now usually, in a mission area, if you die, it will respawn you here. Sometimes it doesn't happen though, so just be careful. And also, uh, the missions can be a little bit different difficult so don't be too upset if you die uh, it happens to all of us as you can see i see a bad guy here my crosshair turns red i spotted the enemy if you press tab while looking at him it'll do that so let's kill him ah he's dead and check his inventory steal his ammo Let's reload. Did a quick tactical reload. Alright, now at least two dozen bullets lodged in the stalker's chest. Someone's pretty generous with the lead. Examine the body. Judging from the entries in the dead man's PDA, this must be Colgan. Someone clearly took him out. Maybe it was his crazy friend Art. And it is indeed Art. So let's head back and tell Adamant the bad news. There's another player. We're back. Let's go talk to Adaman. Калган так и не вернулся. Ты был на болотах? Нашел его? Вот зараза. Вот же знал, я знал я, что от этого подонка одни проблемы. Ах, спасибо, сталкер. Горькими... Ты не обессудь, сталкер. Я твой энтузиазм ценю, но сделанного тобой все еще мало. Был у нас тут проводник золотой. Лучший из лучших. Водолазом звали. А некоторые, за то, что он из любой глуши вывести мог, его в шутку с жополазом кличили. Короче, хороший парень был и проводник. 
Хрен его знает. Но без него жизнь станет тяжелей. Он все тайные тропки знал. Хорошо он амали. С этим не густо. Есть у меня пара-тройка человек, которые с ним не особо ладили. Торф, слива и хлыщ. Хотя по-хорошему никого нельзя сбрасывать с... Как я уже сказал, торф, слива и хлыщ у меня первые в списке подозреваемых. Пообщайся с ними по этому делу. Incidentally enough, it goes in our pistol slot, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go to storage, put our pistol away. And we're gonna take some ammo out, so it's ready. Now, shotguns are absolutely fantastic against mutants. And everything else is good for people. Okay, so now we've got to question a bunch of people. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Peach. Stalker? О чем базар вокзал? Водолаза же полаза что ли? Мы с ним друг друг. Ну как тебе сказать? Так что помягче. Да. Да не. У меня. Yeah, he he might be a suspect. He didn't like the guy very much. There's a guy offering a side quest, by the way. That <laughs> music gets hard sometimes. Yeah. Who's this guy? Coxcomb. Что тебе нужно, Бестолоч? Ты смотри, какой острек. Ты же тут ни хера не де. Отрываю носы любопытным идиотом. Можешь записаться на прием, если очень. Спрашивай и отваливай. Нет, я не в курсе. Я ничего не знаю. Я нервный? Да потому что ты меня заколебал, пристаешь с какими-то тупыми вопросами. Нет, не видел. Не разговаривал, никаких дел с ним не... Yeah, he is super suspect. Я ничего не покупаю, ничего не... Ох, вот скажи мне, а ты чё в зону приперся, чтобы болтать? Ты проводолаза, что ли? Да, перешел наш проводник. Ну, у него всегда была какая-то придурь, знаешь. Недавно прибежал ко мне посреди ночи, разбудил и начал про какую... Сложно сказать. Мы, может, и дружили, но всех его контактов я не знал. Правда, в последнее время возле него все время хл... Okay, so Coxcomb was lying through his teeth about not seeing Dabo or being anywhere near him. And he acted really suspiciously. So he is our prime suspect. Let's go talk to Adaman. Ну что, сыщик? Удалось что-нибудь узнать? Кто-нибудь? И кто же? Okay. Coxcomb was really tense and loud about spending time with Dava. Plum says that Coxcomb was always hanging around with the deceased. Ага. Oh. А вот это звучит как рабочая версия. Если ты That's поймешь right. хлыща... У хлыща тут хибарка есть. Ты ее наверняка заприметил. Okay, once I go search his little house. Okay, take a look. This, this place always makes me dizzy. Alright, let's go check out this house. And okay, what do we have here? Giant crate won't be easy to open the lock and examine. Load some dried blood. Interesting. What's this? Is this small smell coming from the old cupboard? Mystery of the smell solves quickly. You open the cupboard to find a half dead rat. Ooh. Thick layer of cobwebs. Nothing else inside. What else do we have? More backpack. Search a backpack. The backpack is stored for nuclear waste. That's full of dirty underwear. The smell of cocoon. I'm washed foot wraps makes your eyes water. Because it boss. Actually makes your eyes water. <laughs> I love it. Oh, what's this? All crate slightly rotten. Look inside. Anything you find? Uh, you bent nails, rusty feet, and. Uh, 
cabinet. Oops. Examine the cupboard. Doors keep open. Inside a few shelves. Some of them cover the old yearling magazines while others hold several tin can. Examine the magazines. Grab a few, flip through them. Small key falls out one of them. This is getting interesting. Examine the cans. Nothing interesting. Oh, what's this? A heavy crate. Look inside. Find some ammo. That's pretty cool. Stack up in there. Right, so now we've got some new ammo. It, it is an expanding round. Has less armor penetration, but more bleeding and stopping power. So you can hold the R key to switch between ammo types. Let's go see. Open the crate. Inside you find a rag. Old rags, a small bundle, you unwrap, find a severed ear. This proof you need. Dickhead. What the hell are you doing here? I'm lost. <laughs> That's the last excuse. I want to do some armor. It's a good idea to look at the ground sometimes. People throw away things they don't want anymore. Sometimes you find something useful. Я задержал хлыща настолько, насколько мог. Ты что-нибудь нашел? Так это он, шваль проклятущая. Своих в спину валит и уши им режет. Ну что? Right, so now we gotta go detain him. Detective Oleg is on the job. Well. И куда все так спешат, а? Хотел предложить хлыщу в кар... Да вон туды. Эй, а картишки? Yeah, you want to be careful about running through the water, it's radi irradiated. Another player. Some NPCs. Let's talk to them. Which one are we supposed to talk to? This guy. One of our main rabbi here recently was probably running away from the base. Alright, so he ran off. Uh, you might want to check crates sometimes. You can sometimes find some cool stuff inside. Useful stuff, uh, valuable stuff. Not often, but sometimes. Alright, we are all going to continue. Ты, наверное, ищешь хлыща. Ну что ты, я предпочитаю водиться с теми, у кого есть хоть капля мозгов. Если ты идешь по его следам, будь осторожен. Well, he got what he, was, he deserved, I guess. Ты чего так долго? Где хлыщ? Зараза. Прокололись, значит. Можно сбежать от наказания людского, но Господь всегда бдит за нами. Зона никогда не была простым местом. В последнее время на дне... Ах да, ты же хотел узнать у него о блаженных и о себе. Я отмечу на твоем ПДА, где тебе его искать. Иди, парень, найди то, что... Оп. Oh. I'm really heavy now. Lots of cool stuff. Okay, we got Coxcomb's shotgun. I'm not really a fan, so I'm gonna dash that. What else do we have? Okay, we don't need that much ammo on us. That's a lot of ammo. We'll put that away. Okay, these can dispense medkits, so we'll keep that on us. And we have a dog tail to fence. Let's go do that quickly. Okay. 
100 rubles. Not much, but I want to know. Okay, we're supposed to speak to Shaman. So, okay, currently we have two quests active. We're going to meet with Shaman. And we need to, we are on, on the monster's trail. Examine the scene of the incident. That is our side quest. So I actually want to continue with that side quest. So let's go do that. Wait, is it? Okay, that's Shaman's place. And there's the scene of the incident. So let's take a look at our map. Another interesting way to uh, swap missions is to simply right click on it. And that makes that the active one. Right. This area here has a lot of players converging here. This is the bandit base, which is a player base. And then here's the stalker base, which is ours. And uh, a lot of the missions are right in the center here. So if you go here, it's quite possible for PVP. So you just have to be careful when you do that. There's a guy just chilling on the ground. Well, the uninitiated, this is an anomaly field. Uh, it's a good place to search for artifacts. Uh, you just gotta be careful with the anomalies, these will kill you. Ahead of us here is our first NPC enemies. Uh, it can be quite dangerous, so you got to be careful. Let's take these guys out. Alright. Enemy is dead. They got some stuff. Let's grab it. And there's our reward for killing them. Let's check these barrels. We have food. Let's eat that. That'll increase our health. And I stand on the fire. Some more food. An armor plate. We don't really need that just yet. Okay, we've got some mutant dens. These are military checkposts, and the mutant dens are, are where you get your water items. As you can see, I picked up some here. There's an anomaly. There's our goal. They were in the area. Somebody's been here. Kill the mutants. There is another player currently here. And he just left the area. You can tell on the top left of the minimap there is a number that shows how many players are in the area. And there is still another player here. I just want to have a look around. Make sure he doesn't ambush me while I'm trying to do my mission here. And now there are two other players. I'm hoping they're friendly, but I don't see any friendlies around. players there. It's probably who I'm picking up. Alright, let's go see. What he shows in the sounds of life says the lack of extension hasn't been that here that long enough. And there we go. <laughs> this this is a, a problem. You can easily get murdered while doing quests. Now normally when, when you open um, a like a dialogue thing or interaction, uh, the game makes you invulnerable and you also disappear from view. Uh, but in this case, I was not invulnerable. So now this guy has just come and killed us. And so we have to respawn and come back.
I mean, you respawn, you, you come back to your base. And now, anything I had on me that wasn't bound uh, is now gone. That guy uh, stole it. So, let's head back and try and complete the mission. As you can see, there is now a marker on the map where we died. So we can go back and get our stuff if he didn't loot anything. Uh, one of the things is you want to come. Where is the settings now? Settings, game. Uh, there's a thing you have for death waypoints. Display death markers, right? It's on. And now you can change the number. I've switched mine to 5 and they stay there for 30 minutes. So if you keep dying repeatedly, uh, you don't want to. Like, you die, lose your stuff, you run back, you might die before you even get there again, and then you'll forget where where you died the first time. So you want to have quite a few of these on. So let's get back. Right, we are back at the scene of the crime. Let's see if that guy's still hanging around. But right, there's another friendly player here. Okay, our stuff has been taken. Uh, normally, it'll leave a bag there. But... Okay, search. We found a PDA. Let's search the other guy. Find another PDA. Let's take it and leave. That was a player. Find a grenade at us. Let's do a flank. Oh shit! Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> There's an AI spot there. So let's just leave. We are mildly irradiated. No, I don't want to fight a player and a bunch of AI all at the same time. That's not my idea of fun. <laughs> this guy's still around here somewhere, I think. Actually, stop it, let's kill people. in the back. And here's a player. And he's down. Go your first player. Let's see what he had. Let's grab some loot. I uh, will ignore that. That's his bag of bot items. It's considered rude to steal those. Okay, so a player is dead. And the events here has been cleared with the AI. So grab the, the loot. Alright, let's get out of here with our stolen loot. There are there are players here. A lot of players. Four players in this area. I'm one of them, but if that's three other bandits, I do not want to face them. Another player dead. Grab his stuff. Alright, uh, this looks valuable. Oh! And that's what happens when you're greedy. Nice quick way to get back to base. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to do? Find out more about Rubetsky. 
Okay, those are the PDAs I found. Nice. Alright, buy provisions, fix a machine, meeting with Rubetsky. Okay, we gotta find out who this guy is. What's this one say? Okay, a device is stained with blood, a dialogue is open in it. Science is from the camp, gave me a job here. According to him, one local Hofwit is dumping a bunch of greenery for live rats. I took his contacts, some kind of scientist, I think. Rubetsky is his last name. Uh, of course, Dick knows the topic sounds too good, but it's worth a try. We agreed to meet him near the river. I'll earn money, even enough for a new outfit. Okay, let's continue with our quest. That's as you in good health, that. Do you have any interesting artifacts? Maybe don't be shy and willing to help your asses with the funds and keeps the conversation going. I have a very important question concerning the corpses wrestling you dragged into camp. Science looks at you surprised. I don't know anything about that. A certain Rubeski was involved in his death. According to my information, you know him. Rubeski? Yes, I worked with him. At some point, though, he went completely insane. At first, the lunatic would quietly experiment in his lab, sometimes you wrote a local knickknacks through me. Even paid extra for delivery to his doorstep. I visited him once and he had some kind of mutant in a cage. Looked like a human but with huge claws growling too, like he had, like the Hadron Collider. And then what? Well, what do you think? I told him where to show it. No amount of money will get me back into the lab of his again. Can you tell me where Rubetsky's lab is? Side out, it's just across the river. I'll send you coordinates. Just be careful out there. Because who knows what kind of experiments Rubetsky's been doing on his pet monster. Thanks for the help. Alright. Okay, yeah, because we died again, okay, we still have ammo on us. Let's just put out some more. And we still have our meds. And let's go and eat. What's that? Okay, yeah, that's... We do not have any active effects. So let's consume that food. That will give us stamina regen. And let's head back out. Okay, we have to go... See, this is why, once again, good option to see where your deaths were. Oh, no, if you're not in some PvP, it kind of sucks that uh, you'll be forced into it like that. Um, but hell, it can it can be quite a, quite fun. So it's a, a nice little distraction. You don't really lose anything if you die. Except for some loose ammo and meds. Maybe a little bit of loot you found. But it's no big deal. It's a, a nice little distraction. Can be quite fun. We are back at the scene of the crime. Where I was murdered the last time. Uh, there are players in the area. Let's see if there's any goodies. Nope, he took everything. Water items just lying on the ground, fun times. Okay, let's go do our mission. There is a player here, which seems to be friendly. Okay, now we are in the den. I'm gonna search the hideout. Alright, this is our own instance. We don't have to worry about players in here, which is quite nice. Okay, some glass rays. Some test tubes containing various reagents that have miraculously survived. Most of them full of translucent yellowish liquid cinnamon particles at the bottom. Uh, there's a PDA. Scratch our PDA. One of the old models looks like uh, several audio recordings. Today. Listen to the entry. The voice on the recording sounds enthusiastic and confident. I spent a year trying to cure the disease. A year searching for a panacea in this cursed zone. I still remember... The pitiful looks on the doctor's faces as they told me, you don't have long to live. Well, what would they say now, when I finally obtained the ghoul plasma? I am practically one step away from a scientific breakthrough, and I'm ready to take that step. Next entry. Success, I did it. I finally did it. After I checked myself with the plasma, I felt an immediate surge of energy. The disease didn't just diminish, it disappeared entirely. My body strength has not just returned, it has increased tenfold. I feel like a human again. So far, there haven't been any side effects, except for a slight headache. It's probably just an immune response. I plan to continue the injections. Next entry. Man on the recording speaks extremely fast. There's hints of apprehension in the voice. I'm not sure if it's been caused by the drug, but I've begun to eat noticeably more often without ever feeling full. All, all the food tastes bland. This could be a disease complication. Over time, this will definitely pass. I've finally overcome this damn melody. Next entry. I wish you could have 
ordered a second ghoul. The first one had to be sacrificed in order to collect enough plasma for the drug. Sometimes I have these peculiar bouts of nausea, weakness, migraines, and terrible hunger. I've even fainted once. I hope this is only temporary. Oh yes, before I forget, there's a stalker coming in today with another mutant. I mustn't forget about the meeting, otherwise I'll run out of materials for my experiments. Next entry. Speaker's agitated and clearly confused. Sometimes he makes long pauses. I woke up and my hands. My god, what's happened to my hands? They, I don't know how to describe it. I thought I was finally cured, but this, I can't even hold a pen. I passed out again, but this time I, I woke up not far from the heart out of my, my mouth. I'm not completely sure, but no, it's definitely blood. I don't know what's going on, but the hunger. I don't feel it anymore. Next entry. The voice on the tape is growing even less intelligible and much more intimate. I'm losing my train of thought more and more. Something is happening to me, but I don't understand what. My hair and teeth are falling out. My hands won't stop shaking. And I'm starting to look more like the paws of some animal. And my head. My head is killing me. I've started waking up more and more often in unfamiliar places like something. Something else is taking control. Please help me. Next entry. Speech sounds more muffled and hoarse. And the voice is definitely that of Rebetsky. It hurts. Help me. Somebody. Mommy. My head hurts. It hurts. Food. The recording is cut short by a pissing shriek that turns into a roar. That must have been in the last file. Seems like Robetsky's experiments have gone too far. We need to deal with him. I should look around. I may be able to find him. Alright. If I'm going to deal with him... Uh, calculations. Piece of paper, knee raise the calculation. Does it or drag on the back knee the inscription? Ghoul sedative. Interesting. Alright, let's go find Robetsky. And put an end to this madness. Oh, there he is. Oh, I don't have any ammo on me. And that's him done. Bump ghoul's corpse. Alright, I made a little bit of a mistake there. When when I died, I lost my shotgun ammo. And it wasn't ready. In my quick use thingy, in my bob. Let's put that there. So now you can mouse over and get ammo. Lucky I have two guns. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. Once again, shotguns are absolutely devastating against mutants. Uh, make sure to use them. And we are back. Okay, before we continue with the mission, I just want to tell you guys something. I've picked up some green mold, which is a part item. What you want to do is you want to store that, because if you get killed with that, it'll drop. Now, anyone who picks that up can't use it. It'll 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 drop into a lost a lost bag, and now only the the player whose bag it is is able to open that bag. And a lot of people early on do not understand that, so they'll keep it and like you could sell it, but you'll get you'll get so little money for it. Uh, um, a lot of bandits like to uh, put it on the auction house for stupid amounts of money. I uh, I highly recommend you do not buy them. Do not encourage that kind of behavior because it's just it's bottom materials. It's easy to get unless you've been. Uh, farming for four hours <laughs> which it, it would be really not smart of you to do if you're gonna farm farm for a little bit go back home stash things and then go back oh, uh, yeah unless you've been farming for four hours uh, of materials uh, there's no reason to pay for your bag back it's just it's so easy to farm materials all right let's continue we're gonna speak to bead again Oh, it's you. How'd the hunt go? I honestly didn't think I'd see you again. I killed the monster, but it's a wild story, even by the zone standard. 
Don't joke, this is serious. Wait, did you really bag him? Fuck me. <laughs> you really something. And how are you? Still in one piece? You're not injured? You're going to tell me what that mutant was? Don't make such a fuss. That sucks. Becca wasn't really a mutant. Wait, are you being serious right now? What the hell was that? Have you heard about ghouls? I came across the scientists who investigated those creatures. Are you telling me that a sick of yours killed the fella? No, it wasn't human, I promise. This thing may have been standing on two legs, but I rather believe it was a ghoul. It was your ghoul. It seems that the science has isolated some substance from the mutant's blood and spent some time experimenting with it on himself. So he injected it and then what? You think he turned into a mutant? Something like that. Well, the creature. Just wait till I tell the guys, I won't believe this. Speaking of the guys, while you're off being a hero, I talked to the local lowlifes. Told them their asses were in huge trouble. I mean, most of them just thought I was mad. But a couple of them shot out some for some Kalina type hunter. What are you planning on doing with the money? What are you saying? I mean, you sorted everything out. You didn't even have to hire a hunter, so you're owed some money. And uh, he gives us a bunch of ammo, a bunch of meds, like absolute ton of ammo made. Uh, some parts that's for repairing your gear. And some rubles. Well, much appreciated. No biggie. Any work must be paid for, so take your money. Well, times ago. I need to let everyone know the monster's been taken care of. I'll see you again, God willing. So long. Right, so that is the mission done. Uh, we are now level one with the, in the swamps. Uh, another good way to see your reputation level is go to the map, find the icon for the, the base, and then you just double click on it. Oh, we are level three now. Damn. Okay. As you can see now, we have uh, plus 20% to the cost of selling artifacts and mutant parts, 10% discount on repairs. 20% discount on research. So there are benefits to leveling up. Obviously. Okay, let's go and stash all of this stuff. We don't need all of that. Uh, stash some ammo. Stash the shotgun ammo. Almost actually use this. This is a slightly better version of the shotgun ammo. Bird shot. Has more projectiles. Uh, has more bonuses. Like this one says bleeding plus 5%. This one says bleeding plus 10%. And then plus 100 stopping power all right i'm gonna leave this here for this episode i will catch you guys in the next episode cheers take care